Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, Rosewood59 here. I just wanted to give an update on uh, my all my plans uh, for the screen printing. I finally had time to do that and everything. So there will be a website below you guys can click on. Uh, you can go visit my blog, and right there will be a PDF file that you guys can download. All the plans, all the hardware, the lists, and everything is all attached to that. And there'll also be another link to a video. Um, that one of the other guys went through on one color screen printing press that really helped me out uh, to get started on on this. So hope you guys enjoy and uh, we'll go through, it's all done in layers. I recommend uh, going to my blog, uh, download the PDF file first because that's what I'm going to be based on. So if you guys get lost or confused, that's exactly where all the information will be located. So let's get started guys. Okay, so for layer one here, I basically started an eye shape and I know it's kind of hard to see, I'll try my best with the camera to uh, show you guys everything here. Basically I started with a 2x4, try to pick the best 2x4s um, that you can that are straight and smooth because um, you really want that to take effect especially for your arm when we get to that later. So here is 14 inches long is the piece that I used, then in the middle here it's 14 inches long and then my back piece over here is 14 inches long and then also right over here if you can see right at the back here this guy here is 14 inches long too so I basically made my letter I first if you kinda can imagine here uh, the letter I and then I just added another piece to the back of it and then two smaller pieces here at the front and that was just to give it more stability uh, for my Lazy Susan to put in and this here is five and three eighths, and the other one is five and a quarter, I believe. And I tried my best to line it up as best as possible. Um, so I know it was a little hard to get right dead on even, but that was closest as possible that I could get. So that's pretty much layer one. Now with layer two, um, I'll move this over here a bit so you guys can see as well. Basically what I did well, the next step was to add in my arm and my arm I added in and that is 45 inches long Then the next thing I added in were these pieces over here and they're right at the back piece here from the corner to the front right here and that's at 9 inches long long and um, what I basically did was measure from the front here of the arm back to nine inches and lined it up with my two by fours here and screwing them into place. Then at the back I just add another piece that was 14 inches long here. So I'll move over. It's just this piece here up at the back uh, just for extra stability for length because um, I need to go a little bit further for the Lazy Susan to screw on. So once I had all layer two done um, putting everything in place and screwing down the next thing I did was installing the Lazy Susan. Um, the Lazy Susan probably was the most hardest thing uh, that I could do. Um, it's kind of underneath here so it's hard to see. But um, I took my time. I basically what I did was, was cut the board. So that's my third layer here. And cutting my board what I did was, um, was the other video that when you watch it, uh, he did his at 9 inches just for one one color so what I did is I doubled it and that became 18 18 inches in length uh, for my board and then in width is um, 11 and a half 11 and a half so I did there so that worked out really well um, and installing Lazy Susan like what I said is I basically took a test piece, screwed it on, and lined it up on the bottom first to make sure on the bottom of this here, I made sure that it lined up really well. And then just when I turned, turned the Lazy Susan every time, I made sure that this was lined up. On my one side, I am off just by a 16th, I believe, but um, as long as your image and everything, when your printing lines up perfectly, you can realignment that and that'll be okay. So that's basically layer three on that. Now we're going to get into the, oh, I can also mention, I forgot for layer three, is basically I put in detail, you guys can take a look on how 
I lined this up because I didn't have exactly, um, I can show you here over here. Uh, it was really hard to line this up with the uh, middle of the fence here, with my arm I mean. So what I did was I just measured from the corner, um, four inches from the corner into here and then the other side I did the same thing so in the middle I came with three and a half inches so that basically allowed me to line up my arm three and a half and three and a half because uh, a two by four is three and a half inches wide so that kind of allowed me to play with that as much as I could so I try my best to line it up at the front and then center to center uh, with my arm so that when my push down arm comes down you basically can see that it lines up really well onto that. So the next thing, we'll get into the small pieces. So my middle brace is right over here. These are my two middle braces. So what I did basically is I took a two by four and I cut it in half. And this guy here uh, is five inches long. And I just used a bandsaw to cut them in half. I wasn't worried about if it wasn't 100%. I was more worried that each piece was at the bottom was five inches long. So then basically the next thing is the stopper here. And I'll just push this up so you guys can see it over here. So that's my stopper and it is also from here to here five inches long. Now the other thing is, is for me I found was, the angle was 40 degrees. I found that was the best angle that I could find for the stopper. I th at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but just a tiny, tiny bit, I'm a little bit out, but it's not really a big deal to me. Um, most thing is it stops and everything like that. So that's the most important thing. And I just used some glue and some screw to make sure it was strong. I also added glue onto these as well and um, some screws just to give really good support. And then to your pull down arm, kind of go on an angle here, you guys can see. From basically from the bottom to the top is 10 inches long. I'll just move it down over here so you guys can see a little bit better. This guy here is 10 inches long. So and also 2x4 as well and the C clamp pieces um, over here like this they are three quarters here to inch and a half at the top and the whole piece squares inch and a half by inch and a half I'm onto that. I used some glue and then just kind of screwed it in on an angle of it so I would go more into here as as well and um, what else do I got here and then I basically got I'll lift this up here for a sec and then basically right over here I've got my side guides uh, so basically when your pull down arm comes down it it's in the right place it doesn't move mine's a little bit loose what I'm gonna end up doing I haven't done yet is put some felt on the inside um, just to help it keep it nice and straight so when I'm doing my screen, pre screen press uh, each picture lines up up to it. It's just a little bit off. So that's basically it. What I did also on the side guide pieces, what I did was I routered on the edge here uh, a half inch round over a bit. The reason for that is is because when your piece comes down sorry about that the camera there when the piece comes down um, as you can see here, I'll just kind of go right in here. It's pretty darn close um, touching it. So what I did was I just did a round over to help it from not not uh, touching it at all. So that way, when I'm moving it up and down, it will it will be okay onto that. So basically, get on all some of the hardware now. Um, basically, I have two inch C clamps now that I used. Uh, what I did was from the bottom here up I just did an inch and drilled a hole uh, through and then just put in a drywall screw and I think one inch or something just attach and keep it nice and strong and it worked really well. The other thing I did was I added um, at the bottom here is a 
fender washer and just kind of I glued it on with Gorilla Glue. I found that worked really well. Um, so I did that. I also then have my 9 inch. Actually, I'll go from here. This, this view is a little bit better. From here, I did 9 inches. Uh, so from basically from here to here is 9 inches. And then the inside from here is inch and a half by inch and a half. And I just countersink. Pre drill some holes, countersink the screws um, so that they would go in as well, just to make it nice. And I made sure that they're inset so that when you put your screen and everything, it's nice and flush and everything like that. And then basically, then over here is you have your toggle bolts. These toggle bolts are 5 16 by 9 inches, and then these springs are a little over 4, four inches. Um, I had to get these springs at Lowe's. Home Depot did not carry springs. Um, I got the toggle bolts at Home Depot. That worked out great. Everything else on my hardware I got at Home Depot except for my springs I had to get at Lowe's. Because uh, like I said, Home Depot didn't have them. Then I have here my uh, toggle bolts. And these ones here um, have the nut at the bottom. And I just put a little fender washer on here so that it just wouldn't dent and go really tightly into the screw that it would just uh, stay on top and I forgot one thing over here to say that I forgot to say I added in these eye bolts or eye screws um, and it's one inches apart and I forgot to say down here by my guides side guides that this is one inch here from the bottom too as well so I think I covered pretty much all the hardware and everything else. So this is pretty much. If I miss anything, please let me know. Just give me a shout. And uh, the plan should really cover everything. I just want to kind of do a little video to show you guys on uh, detail and everything like that. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention was over here was the Lazy Susan. It's a six by six. I also added in this piece of wood here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, the reason why is I added this little piece of wood and I just have a, I have a planer, I just planed it down to the right thickness uh, just so it's a little bit off, not much. reason for that is, as you can see when I pull down here, it kind of rocks and I didn't want my Lazy Susan to eventually pop off, pop off on me when I'm working. So I just kind of added this piece in just for stirability, just so it would um, work nice and uh, it would be nice and strong and straight when I pull down that doesn't rock too much and it's actually been working really well so I've been pleased with uh, with it when I've been pulling it down stuff it's been great. here's my off contact screw um, I have not glued this down this, this is the fender washer I haven't glued it down yet uh, reason for that is I tried Gorilla Glue but Gorilla Glue did not work really well for me to be honest on this it came off of me three times so I'm going to use a PL Premium so I just haven't had time doing that yet, but I will. This is my screw, basically off contact screw, and I put a net on the bottom. And for the reason for that is, is so that when I basically go down uh, to whatever height I want to for my off contact, that it stops in position. That way then it's not moving on me when I'm working or anything like that. So that's kind of, I um, hope everything goes well.